Hi everyone, my name's is Anne-Marie Vo and I'm a designer with craftshieldprint.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make the Night Iris Soap Trio Gift Set card front. This is a decoupage sheet and you'll be able to cut out all the individual pieces to build up a unique design. That's the finished card and I'd like to show you the sheet now. Before I do show you the sheet, I'd like to tell you about the items I've used to be able to create this card. I've used my guillotine as a bone folder to be able to score the card that I'm going to use as the base card and the embossing tool to be able to score the line. I've used flat adhesive, I've used 3D foam or you could use silicone, whichever is the easiest for you and two pairs of sharp scissors, although you can use whatever scissors or tools that you prefer to be able to create this image. Some ladies do like to be able to use the tweezers for decoupage. Um, I like the tweezers, but for this design, I've used just the normal small scissors and a large pair. This is the sheet. It's a unique design to craft shield print. And to be able to find the sheet, you can simply go to the website, which is www.craftshieldprint.com slash Amrivo and the cup number for this design is cup 1910720 underscore 10. I've designed and created the images on this sheet and I think you'll find that they're all unique and individual to me. So we've printed off our sheet and you have quite a few different bows and pieces on it. You don't have to use everything on it um, but you do want to use the main image at the top and the middle image I would say at least. So when we've printed it off we're going to cut out the pieces that we want to use. So I've already cut those out. Now I'm actually going to use a piece of gold mirror board to be able to make my base card. I've cut it to size to the DL size for the base and I'm going to use my scoring board to make a fold line down the centre which I have already done but when you do this it'll create a nice smooth fold and you won't get any of the tearing or the little fold lines that go diagonally it'll make it look more of an expensive card I think so I've already done that just to save a little bit of time and I shall put that to one side for now. The pieces that I've already cut from the sheet, I've put tape on the back of the base image and I shall use that when I've finished building up the design. So that's the base image. This is the middle section of the image that I've cut out and I'm going to attach to the bottom part. I've already put foam on it just to save a little bit of time. Now for decoupage I would have actually normally used silicone glue because you would get a little bit of slip and time to be able to put it in exactly the correct position but obviously on camera I'm doing it very fast so edge to edge marry that bit up like so and then we've got the middle of the design if I turn that round like that we've got the middle section of the design that I'm going to put on again I put the tape on the back of it peel the tape off so we place the soap into the middle like so also I've got the little label for you now if you're not very good at cutting there are a few of the sections that are quite delicate and intricate if you're not very good just cut them out to the best of your abilities because the base image will pick up the design anyway for the little bits that you haven't managed to cut so we put the label on like so and then I've also got one of the bows for the corner and where it says set of three because it's the set of three soaps 
So I'll just peel the back of the foam off like so. Marry that up like so. So then you've got your design and you've built up your, your layers. And now I'm going to take my folded card and I'm going to peel off the tape that we put on at the beginning on the base image. Now you will find if you put, try and put it on after you've built your layers up, it's a little bit more fiddly. It can be done, but I just prefer to do it beforehand. So I've peeled that off and I'm going to place the image onto the card like so and try and centralise it. Press it down like so. And there, that's your finished card. And you can see the layers in the decoupage and that's the one that we were showing as a sample at the beginning. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this episode of Cup Television and I'll see you all next time. Bye.